Amy Purdy wasn't your average Dancing with the Stars contestant. As a double amputee, she used a variety of prosthetic legs in the competition. That was a first for the show, and she placed second. The show came immediately after Amy returned from the Paralympic Winter Games in Sochi, where she earned bronze. So what's next on the journey? How do you follow this stuff up? Amy Purdy joins us to talk about that. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Uh, so Sochi, then Dancing with the Stars. How do you describe those two experiences? Um, as a whirlwind, it was crazy, to tell you the truth, but really, really exciting um, to go from competing in the biggest competition of my life, which was uh, snowboarding in the Paralympic Games, to uh, jumping on an airplane, actually winning a bronze medal, mm -hmm. and then <laughs> jumping on an airplane. <laughs> traveling 24 hours, um, walking onto the set of Dancing with the Stars, and then competing in the next biggest competition of my life. And um, it was exciting, it, it, was, it was exhilarating and, and incredible. What have you heard from others uh, who have seen you compete in either of those arenas about how you've inspired them? Um, I think that is the theme. I mean, people are definitely very inspired and that feels really good to me. Uh, but the thing that's interesting for me is I never, I never really set out to inspire other people. I don't wake up in the morning and say, ah, oh, today I'm going to inspire the world. That's what I'm doing. Mm. I simply like to do the things that inspire me, that make my heart beat, and oh. that I'm passionate about. And one of those things is snowboarding, and now one of those things is dancing. And mm. I think that when you're inspired, um, it's contagious, and it inspires other people to want to follow their passions. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, it's a really good kind of circle to be in, involved in. If we could rewind just a little bit for our viewers who aren't completely familiar with your story, uh, would you explain what happened when you were, you were 19? And I read, I mean, this was very serious. Your odds of survival were quite low. Yeah, so I was 19 years old, I was a snowboarder, and I felt sick one day and ended up in the hospital for three months. Um, found out that I had contracted something called bacterial meningitis. We have no idea how I got it. But um, due to that, I ended up losing both of my legs below the knees. I also lost my kidneys and had to have a kidney transplant. But um, the thing that moved me forward is being passionate about snowboarding, to tell mm -hmm. you the truth. All I wanted to do was snowboard again and out. figure out a way to do it, and I did. And I was able to compete, and now I'm able to inspire other future Paralympians mm -hmm. and athletes. And, um, you know, really, I hopefully inspire people to focus on their abilities, everybody out there, because mm -hmm. we all have abilities and we all have disabilities, but to focus on our abilities and uh, right now I'm working with a company called The Hartford, who's incredible. And we just did a campaign called the What Defines You campaign, which does exactly that. It focuses on abilities. And through this campaign, they donated $100,000 to the Paralympic Committee. Um, so I'm very excited to be, awesome. to be a part of that. Yeah, and raising awareness there. We're out of time, but I, I wish we could just sit and talk for hours. I think you're so interesting, Amy. Thank you for joining us today. Bye. Thank you. Thanks so much. Thank you. Mike.